Good morning from sunny Wales, where we're here at Oakwood Theme Park for our first visit in two years. What a lovely day today. It is going to be really hot. Perfect for getting on lots of different rides, including Megaphobia, my favourite wooden coaster in the country. So good. It's an epic ride, it's isn't brilliant. it? Brilliant. Along with that as well, you've got some absolutely fantastic water rides here at the park, including Waterfall, aka Baking Tray the Ride. <laughs> Along with that as well, Drenched, one of the wettest and best water rides in the country as well. Now, along with that, the great thing is, After Dark is back for 2022 oh, as well. Oh, it's a great event, this is. It is indeed. If you don't know what After Dark is all about, basically the park's open for 12 hours from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. And this evening, they actually have a nighttime spectacular to fireworks, uh, all set to theme music, and lots of lighting effects as well. Uh, it pretty is incredible. I love we it. We love it, don't Oh, we? yeah, absolutely amazing. And along with that as well, they have Colour Fest, like a UV paint party, and, uh, yeah, lots of entertainment. So, yeah, we'll capture all of that. Uh, but come and join us. It's a lovely sunny day here at Oakwood in Wales. It's always a big drive to get here, but it's always so exciting when you get it's to this park. Yeah. The anticipation of knowing you're getting closer and going to be riding Megaphobia again. It's an epic wooden coaster. Let's go and get inside Oakwood. <laughs> So we'd just like to say a huge thank you to Oakwood for providing us with our mission today. And yeah, when you pull up here on the free car park, you've got the little entrance building. You can either get on this train or you can walk down to the entrance as well. So yeah, you've got a couple of different options because the entrance is kind of set a little bit further back um, from the main part of the park. Yeah, there's Drench just over there. Gorgeous day for it. We've got highs of about 33 degrees today, so it is going to be lovely. And that's the thing at this park. Yes, they've got some great rides. However, when you're here for 12 hours, you can take it very chilled out and just soak up the lovely countryside. You can indeed. Yeah, it's always a really nice, nice park nice just to cream. relax. Oh, an ice cream. I don't know about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we'll have an ice cream. Make the most of it on this lovely day. Here we go then, so it's just gone 10.30 and that's when the rides open. So yeah, the park opens from 10, rides from 10.30. As much as you have the temptation to go down to Megaphobia first, you're actually best starting off just here on the bobsleigh. You might be thinking, what are you going on about, Sean? So yeah, because this is low throughput, it's really good. Um, but yeah, you definitely were starting off on this. Yeah, come down to the right hand side, have a go on the bobsleigh. Unfortunately, a few years ago, they stopped the on-ride filming here at Oakwood, which is a shame because you used to be able to get your GoPro checked off and film on ride but yeah sadly that isn't the case anymore but yeah if you look back at some of the older videos and the Oakwood playlist we've got lots of on-ride POVs from the attractions here at the park oh just had a nice quick ride round and here comes Charlotte she's been braking oh she looks a bit slow coming in there here we go on the bobsleigh <laughs> Hey! Well, fair play to the staff on there. They do ask if you want to leave a bit of a gap, which is good. It's quite good, but people go so slow. Oh, they do, but at least they do say, like, if you want a gap, you know, it did leave quite a bit so I could go down nice and fast on there. It is, yeah, it's not the longest layout, uh, but it is a good ride. Yeah, I, I do like that. Obviously, you control the speed yourself, but here we go. Time for the highlight of Oakwood now. Megaphobia, thrills beyond fear. An absolutely awesome CCI wooden roller coaster not GCI CCI that opened here back in 1996 this is definitely the highlight of the park this is the reason why we make the four and a half hour drive to Wales and to come and see this because it is a spectacular wooden roller coaster and it really does make the park there's yeah, looking at all the setup just over there as well ready for tonight yeah you got moving heads you got flame machines all sorts it's a full-on nighttime spectacular and you think oh maybe you know Oakwood wouldn't put on something like that but first time I saw it I was amazed and yeah over the years they've just got made it better and better which is great but here we go as a look at the beauty itself wow it is a great ride and yeah you've got the lake just here at the front as well which is always nice with the coaster just there behind it but yeah the question is how is it going to be riding hopefully very well i mean again with it being a wooden coaster uh, every year they tend to repair parts of the track and replace bits all standard procedure of course uh, just to keep this beauty running so yeah we'll go and have a ride and see what it's like well it's only running one train however it's got no queue at all as you can see straight up into the station so yeah we'll put in some off-ride clips for you it's the location of this ride that really makes it as well this is straight up probably on the next train fantastic
Joe's just behind us, Megaphobia here at Oakwood. And we got into the station and looked at the train and yeah, it's had all new cushioning, all new padded seats. Well, it's a good job, it needs it. It does need it. Like I tell you what, we are going through extreme temperatures and maybe that's affecting it. But oh. I tell you what, we've had two rides on there and it wasn't riding great. It was pretty rough, it wasn't it? It is not riding good at all. Yeah, don't get me wrong. You know, it's a spectacular layout. I love it. But um, yeah, it wasn't riding really the best at all. No. That was it. At uh, the bottom of the first drop, it really jolted. And, and all the drops, it was jolting quite a lot on really there. Bad. Like I say, it probably it is due to the heat, heat but because um, I know they do some retracking work and stuff on there. Like I mentioned before, we went on, but yeah, they're the, oh. the worst rides I've ever had on Megaphobia. You know, and it's a shame because I, I, I used to love Such that coaster, and I think it is probably due to the weather, or uh, well, at least I hope so. Anyway, it's not really riding. Yeah, it's yeah, like, like literally today, like, we've done two rides, and that was pretty brutal. Yeah. We used to sit on it all night, like on I the don't ERS. Know how we did it. No, I don't. But yeah, it was pretty rough that was today. Uh, with megaphobia we'll give it another go later on yeah, maybe see. when the sun goes down yeah, tonight yeah see how it's going yeah because park's open until 10 o'clock obviously we'll have a ride later uh, when the sun's not beaming down on the track that's the thing with all roller coasters especially a woody weather can really affect it, can, it. Yeah. um so yeah fingers crossed it'll be riding better later on but yeah i've got to say that was pretty brutal it that was, was. Yeah. that was riding like like the grand national in blackpool oh, before really it had bad. the retrack it was really brutal and it's a shame because i love the layout i love the location it's a great ride but blimey that was really uncomfortable <laughs> It's a beautiful location for a theme park and Megaphobia does look stunning over there at the back. And yeah, look at this, I feel like we're back in Hollywood, but this time we're at Oakwood. Hey! Yeah, it does. I tell you what, they've made the letters even bigger for this nighttime show that we're so excited for. So yeah, you've got the stage, they have live music this afternoon, and then also as well, After Dark features the UV paint party that happens around here. So we'll get some footage of that later. And then of course the night ends with a firework display and uh, yeah, lots of special effects. As you can see, there's loads of lighting all around here. It's pretty epic to be honest. Like you wouldn't think that a park like Oakwood would put something like this on, but they do and it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, so we'll have uh, highlights coming up from that later on, but yeah, they've made the letters even bigger and kind of moved it off to the left because last time the letters were all kind of just off to the right there uh, whereas now they're all the way across and the fireworks launch from kind of over the back there so yeah that'll be coming up right near the end of the vlog we're very excited for that and then goes megaphobia again seems like even Bert the seagull's shocked at how megaphobia is running over there look at him oh no yeah, you've had a back row ride as well <laughs> Next up then, it's time to ride the parts Gerslai Eurofighter. It's speed, no limits, just over here. Yeah, this opened at the park back in 2006. And yeah, this is a good ride. It's a very intense coaster, this it one. It's really intense, this one. Isn't? Yeah, because you get this crazy airtime hit where you get ejector airtime. And of course, that comes straight after the Beyond Vertical Drop just there. And you come round into this turn just here. And then, of course, down into the loop, one of two inversions on the ride as well the second of which comes just after the mid-course brake run over there but you got some nice construction photos of speed no limits just here as well i like how they put these on there's the wagons of course delivering everything kind of see some of the foundations going in and then yeah all the nice bright orange track just there as well yeah i could do with a bit of a repaint to be honest speed but it doesn't look very busy does it around here it's an intense coach of this one though so yeah, let's go and ride literally waiting for riders down here at speed it's walk on so if you are coming to this park you're going to get plenty of rides in it's a very intimidating lift hill for this as well here we go put some off ride footage and we'll see you after
most intense ride there on speed. I tell you what, that coaster is absolutely cracking. It's a very forceful ride, especially that airtime hill, where you get proper injector airtime after the first drop. Like, it's a fantastic coaster Whoa. with a really good layout, but for me, it's just too intense. <laughs> It is very smooth though, isn't it? It is quite smooth, yeah. Yeah, especially earlier in the day. Uh, but I love speed. To be honest, with how Megaphobia was riding this morning, I'd probably say that's my favourite ride now here at Oakwood. It's always been a tough competition between the two, but that was riding absolutely amazing. It's the best Gerslai Eurofighter in the country, in my opinion. It might not be the longest layout. Most intense uh, Oh, it rides so much better uh, than Saw the Ride at Thorpe Park. And obviously Rage rides good at Adventure Island, uh, but this is much bigger. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic attraction. I I feel like it was going slower up the lift hill yeah, than usual. Yeah, it seems to have took ages to get to the top. <laughs> I mean, it's always been a slow lift, but it seemed like it was even slower no today. But yeah, it's all about that awesome airtime hill, in my opinion. Yeah, I know. Like, you're whacked out of your seat. If, if that had lap bars, it'd be crazy. Yeah, it would. And then, of course, coming down into this helix at the end as well. You fly into the brake run. It's a fantastic coaster. It's speed no limits here at Oakwood. Well, it's going to be a mega hot afternoon here at Oakwood. You like it? Mega? Megaphobia? We had to get that one in. But yeah, the good thing is you've got lots of shade here at this park. And yeah, you've got a roller coaster that's completely built in the treetops just over here. And yeah, it's called treetops because literally you're in the forest down here at the back of the park. Oh, Little Zero Tivoli. This thing is amazing. Like, it's a really nice coaster. It's only a standard layout. It's not custom or anything. All around the trees. It's a really nice ride. And you sit in the little log just over here. It's always exciting getting back on this. Just a nice family coaster this is. Nice high throughput ride as well. And here we go, yeah, all in the trees just over there with the layout. ride there on treetops. Oh, I really like treetops, but I'm sure you used to get two laps. Yeah, we only got one lap just there, didn't we? But yeah, it's a nice family coaster. Oh, long's a waterfall. That is how to ride it. She's a professional. Here we go. So yeah, this is a pretty awesome water ride at this park. Don't where it's called baking that. tray the ride basically. Like you sit on what is effectively a baking tray and then you come down that very steep drop just there. And then you have to skid yourself on top of the water all the way down here to the end just like that girl did just and uh, obviously charlotte's not gonna go on though sorry you have got no chance <laughs> well i'm gonna go on, on you have done it before did you just have one go on it or did you have yeah, a few i can't I remember falling in. i can't I yeah. <laughs> well yeah here we go are we gonna have any wipeouts come on here we go oh oh just all right the good thing is it is so hot today so if you have a wipeout on this it doesn't really matter and yeah of course looking forward to getting on drench later on as well the other big water ride no. <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go and have a little ride on this now and we'll see is it gonna be a wipeout or am i gonna be okay what do you think charlotte who knows i'd like to think you know how to ride this ride well i've done it a lot i've been on it probably 100 times over the years but i have had a few wipeouts so we'll see how it goes here on waterfall at oakwood Let's go and give it a go. So here we go then. Sean is at the top, ready to make his way down on waterfall. Now is he going to fall in? Oh, oh. Whoa! He did it. And that's how to do it. It's such a unique ride that is. And yeah, I wouldn't have minded falling in today, to be honest, with it being so hot. But I didn't. <laughs> well, I thought I'd show you how to do it professionally first. And then later on, I will definitely have a fall in just on there. Hey, how you doing? Theme Park Worldwide on YouTube. Yeah, I'll have a bit of a fall in later on there. Uh, yeah, it is a fantastic attraction. Very unique. Amazing to me that it's still going, to be honest, in the world of health and safety these days. But I'm glad that it is, because it's good fun. The key to it is you just got to kind of hold on tight and lean forward on there as well. Now, of course, you have got Bounce that has now reopened here at Oakwood after spending a few years closed. However, it is having a few technical issues this morning, so hopefully we'll get on it later. It was testing this morning, so fingers crossed. Obviously, just making sure everything's safe before it can open up. 
But yeah, they've taken a few of the trees out just here and it's opened up this central port part of the park a little bit. And also it's meant that they've put some more seating in and yeah, probably even opened up the area for more firework viewing as well, which is good. Um, Cause yeah, obviously you got Woody's Burger Bar just there. Just opened it all up a bit here now. So you can see more of the attractions uh, here in the center of Oakwood. So we've made our way now back up towards the top of the park and into Spooky Street just over here. So spooky. <laughs> so spooky. I just knew you were going to say that, Charlotte. I knew you were going to say it. Here we go. This will be our biggest queue of the day so far, I think. Spooky 3D just over here. Dark ride here at the park. Yeah, we can take you on this one. Has it been a dark ride? But yeah, you've got a couple of other rides. The coaster at the top there as well. Hey! Mark's over there. Hey! Let's have a ride. Everyone, Spooky 3D. Here we go, we've got our 3D glasses on on Spooky 3D. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Are you ready for some of it? With your glasses you will see the door is not what it seems to be. <laughs> Squeal, squirrel, writhe and wriggle, monsters moan and ghosties giggle. Through your glasses you will see that all is not what it seems to be. Yeah, it looks trippy on the camera anyway with all the dots, but when you're wearing the 3D glasses, everything just sticks out, looks like it's floating in the air. It's quite unique, I'd say, with the glasses. It's very different. Look at all those rats. Loads of rats up there. That one up there is a rat as big as a cat. <laughs> thing is, because they dispatch all the cars at the same time, it's only got three trains, there's waiting about 15 minutes, but uh, yeah, like you can hear the scares coming up. <laughs> What's really creepy there, is that there's not even a car behind us, and that effect just activated, activated the sensor. Makes you think, doesn't it? Oh, we've been followed by something, a ghost. <laughs> Jump school dark ride vibes there's a traction actually done some improvements to it though which is good made a few changes I like the song through your glasses you will see very catchy Oh no. Brutal. <laughs> there we go. On ride footage is there from Spooky 3D. There we go. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, it's quite a good fun ride to be honest. It's not too bad. I mean, they've made some improvements in there compared to how it used to be. A few of the effects have been fixed in there as well, which, which is, is good. good. To see. Yeah, and it has got quite an atmosphere. I feel like a new soundtrack in there would really complement it so. uh, and make it a little less family friendly and a bit more scary a in there. Bit more yeah, I mean, because some of the theming is actually quite scary, but it's a soundtrack with the song that's, you know, uh, yeah, I suppose the song's good fun. I do quite like 
like it. I think, you know, if they wanted to make that a proper ghost train, they could do if they, they wanted do, to. Definitely. A bit like how it used to be, really. Um, but still, it's not a bad family dark ride. And yeah, it's quite long as well, about three and a half minutes with lots going on and lots to see as well. I think the facade could do with a bit of TLC. I mean, they can kind of get away with it having a haunted theme. You know, like you look at the roof just up there and yeah, just needs a bit of TLC. And that's the thing with Oakwood. You know, if the money was really spent here, it could be an absolutely brilliant park. I still really like it here because of the location. Um, it is beautiful. However, it could really be a thriving, spectacular park if it had the right investments here. Really could be. Yeah, we've got Creepy Crawler just over here now. Creepy Crawler, <laughs> just off to the left. So we're gonna have a ride on there. You got Witch's Brew, little teacups ride here as well. And yeah, it's very creepy because you got the big pumpkin just over there as well. Massive pumpkin to get you in the mood for Halloween, Charlotte. Oh, yes. Cannot wait. But yeah, as you can see, you got all the uh, trampolines just out the front there as well. And yeah, there's a little bit of theming over on the inside. So you're entering through the giant pumpkin. Ooh, very atmospheric. The table just there. <laughs> Get spooky here, viewers. Look at this. Yeah, this is probably the quietest I've seen it for after dark, though. Really Hopefully, it'll be a bit busier later on because there's not much of an atmosphere today. And normally, there's this great atmosphere on these event days. But there we go. I like how you've got the bats there hanging up on string. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's go and have a ride over on Creepy Crawler. I tell you what, I love this big shed, though. This would be great for a new world of theme parks, wouldn't it? Well, maybe we've got a new one lined up. Watch this space. So we just had a ride over on Creepy Crawler. How did you find oh, that? Not too bad, to be honest. Not too uncomfortable. No, it was all right actually. Yeah. Front row, not too bad at all. Yeah, I thought you know, looking at it, you think it's going to be really yeah, rough, but no, it was okay. That it was, was okay, wasn't it? Yeah. Of course, you can just see over in the background there the large dome as well. That's Blue Stone Resort, and to be honest, that place has really been expanding massively, yeah, exactly. and we've still never been. I know. So I think next year that will we'll change. Go. We'll have to go to Blue Stone next year um, when we come down here to Oakwoods. Well, here we go, Wales' wettest adventure, Drench. This is actually one of the most scary water rides in the country, it really is. Look at the drop on that. It's ridiculously steep. You get just as wet as the likes of Tidal Wave or Valhalla, but you've actually got a ridiculously steep drop on this. So yeah, I'm looking forward to riding it. It opens daily at two o'clock, and we're lucky because it's been shut all season uh, because of technical issues. But yeah, they've got that fixed now, so I cannot wait to get back on there, especially on a hot day. Uh, I may even have a couple of rides over on Drench today. So yeah, there's about half hour to go till it opens. You're not going on it? No. Oh, such a nice day. But so yeah, we're gonna head now up into Neverland, which is another one of the family areas just up here off to the left hand side. Here we go then, across into Neverland now which is the nice heavily themed area here at Oakwood. This is definitely my favourite part of the park. So yeah, you've got some great theming throughout and some nice attractions as well, which is really good. So yeah, we'll probably head on the log flume just down here shortly, shall we? I'm sure we will. You like the log flume, don't you? have got to do at least one yeah. Oh, well, this one used to be over at Camelot theme park, and that's a shame. Oh, the nice indoor walkthrough is just barricaded oh. off. Oh, that's like one of the highlights of the area. They're literally in all them buildings there. There's a magical walkthrough, which is really nice. Oh, yeah, literally just a barrier out the front. Yeah. Oh, what a shame about that. There you go. I've got to say, you know, I mean, I love Oakwood and the location of it and everything, but it feels like, you know, the park really needs a bit of TLC yeah, this time. Really you know, I, I really like coming here. I, I always have done, but yeah, this visit certainly looks like it needs a bit of TLC in quite a few areas, you know. But still, we'll make our way down here. Gonna have a ride on Skull Rock. Yeah, like the theming was really good. I mean, when they put this area in, 
I really thought, yeah, they were moving forward with some great investment with the theming and everything. So hopefully we see them get back on track at some point in the future. I really hope so. Here we go, Skull Rock. Nice log flume ride just over here. All themed audio. That's something they've done a good job of here as well. All the audio throughout the park at the entrance. And yeah, it just adds so much to the atmosphere having theme music. Well, we waited about 10 minutes there for our ride on School Rock. It's only got one drop, however, it has got a dark ride scene in there. It's not too bad in there, really, is it? Yeah, it features an animatronic parrot. You've got Captain Hook as an animatronic as well. And uh, yeah, it's got some audio throughout. Again, it could be even better with some smaller details. However, um, yeah, it's not too bad in there. And then, of course, you come down the main drop and we had a nice splash on I'm there. I'm literally dry already. It's the first day where Charlotte's not moaning about getting soaked. I know, I've so. not moaned today. Yeah, it's a nice day for I it. Know, it's right? so perfect hard. weather for it. Perfect weather for drenched, I think. Oh, no. <laughs> waterfall. No. Uh, we're definitely drenched. I cannot wait to get on that. It's going to be opening shortly. But first, Charlotte's going on the little crocodile coaster. Yeah, I'm going to go on it. There we go. So I'll get a bit of footage of Charlotte on there. See you later. be quite funny. Hey, here comes Charlotte then. <laughs> There's a single rider on the crocodile coaster. <laughs> there you go. I think it's missing some of the train, actually. You know what? It looks like he's struggling to get around the track. There she is. Are you going to make it, Charlotte? <laughs> hey, crud's a crud. Here at Oakwood. Oh, that's funny. Just looks so funny and cute, Saddle Yeah, a good view of speed just from here as well. And also bounce over there. Yeah, hopefully it'll open this afternoon for us. Maybe it's the heat. Well, yeah, we were just chatting with a few more coaster enthusiasts because the roller coaster club are here today. We were chatting with those and Mark as well, Mark Megaphobia Lewis. You saw him a little bit earlier on outside Spooky 3D. And yeah, everyone said the same about Megaphobia, not riding good. Hey, <laughs> you enjoying that? <laughs> you look so cute. Yeah, he's missing one of them at the end. I'm sure it is. You still have another one. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. And it's not just the heat today. Everybody says, even last year, I mean, we didn't come in 2021 to Oakwood. Everybody says the past couple of years, it's really not been riding good megaphobia. And that's a shame because that has always been the standout for this park. So yeah, fingers crossed, they can get something sorted out on there. I think maybe a GCI retrap with Millennium Flyer trains, maybe the best option. Anyway, we'll go on Tinkerbell's Flying School now, just over there. This is always good fun. Oh, we had a nice ride there with Tinkerbell. Yeah, it's a good fun attraction, that is. It's obviously, you got like the sail and then you can spin it side to side. That determines which way you turn around on there. Yeah, we'll take you for a POV on Neverland Chase. Not quite a POV of Megaphobia, but yeah, it's such a shame they stopped the on-ride filming here. Obviously, a park like Alton Towers, they've never really allowed it, or at least not for many, many years, but yeah, it's always a shame when in recent times you could POV on stuff and then they've, you know, changed it now, changed the policies. Yeah, like I said, there's a full Oakwood playlist here on the channel featuring POVs from all the rides. But that's the thing. All the European parks, or a lot of the European parks allow on-ride filming, which is always great. And we really appreciate that. a bit squeaky <laughs> yeah, it needs a bit of WD-40 I think this one yeah it's a great themed area this I do really like it again needs a bit of TLC much like a lot of the park seems to this time yeah it has got a lot of potential this I like School Rock I think that looks fantastic with the theming oh thought we were going to stall then a little bit of on ride footage there from Neverland Chase and yeah unfortunately we can't go in Wendy's house it says come in and play in my house but it's closed, it's all locked off unfortunately, so we can't go and play in Wendy's house. That's a shame that. But here we go, we've got another little ride to go on just around the corner here. On the little taxi ride around London. So yeah, we'll go and take you on there. Another ride we'll be able to take you on for a POV. Just round here to the right hand side. Yeah, what a gorgeous day. And the good news is just seeing Bounce going as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting on Bounce and seeing what that's like. It's been many years and we've spent quite a lot of money on it, I believe, as well, to get it in action. So we'll definitely give that a go. That's a cute little lamp, isn't it? Yeah, small little light. 
Here we go, it's going to have a ride on the taxi. This is always good fun. Wonder where Charlotte's going to take us today. Here you've got the public call box there as well, the TARDIS, Doctor Who. <laughs> Just inside there. But yeah, again, this is a really nicely themed ride, you know. I think that's the thing, Oakwood peaks with theming with this area. It's a shame we've not really seen more around the park. Yeah, this theming is pretty good around this area. Well, hey, here we go then. Walk straight on this, we've got the whole ride to ourselves. There's Charlotte on the taxi. Yeah, these go quite fast on our little tour around London. We thought there's no queue, so we may as well have our own because as you can see, there's not loads of leg room. <laughs> so we thought we may as well go in together. Hey, Charlotte's taxi. She says she's going to be in queue. Whistle stop tour, there we go. Big Ben just off to the left, or Elizabeth Tower. Obviously Big Ben's the bell. Tower London, off to the left. Nelson's column off to the right. <laughs> there you go, that's your tour of London, folks. Nothing else to see in London. Public call box off to the left. That's all you get. What's quite funny is about the track rides here, like they dispatch it all together. It's like, you know, they park all three of them up and then dispatch them all at the same time, which is quite funny. A little tour around London. I do like the Neverland themed area of Oakwood. It's a great area. Shame to see some of the indoor areas closed I'm off. Too sure why. Yeah, I don't really know, because it would be perfect to cool off in there as exactly. well. Um, you know, any shade is really needed, especially on a hot day. Don't say that very often in Wales, though. Uh -huh. Hot day, dear, normally raining. Uh, but it's a nice themed area, that is. Uh, anyway, time for the park's big signature water ride now, Drenched. I'm really looking forward to this. No, no. You don't fancy it, dear. Definitely. Yeah, <laughs> you've never been on it, but uh, I, I absolutely will. love this. It's a great ride. Good thing is, though, we shall not coming on she's gonna get some footage of me um, yeah. going on there like I say it opens at two o'clock every day staggered opening for drenched uh, but I'm looking forward to it because this drop is absolutely huge it's very intimidating this ride actually uh, even for somebody who goes on rides all the time you go around the top and you look at that drop it's very steep Not for me. Uh, in fact when I've come off I'll take you down the side and show you from a side angle uh, exactly how steep it is because yeah it's a big drop and it's one of the scariest water rides I think I've ever been on to be honest so me. here we go Charlotte's gonna put in some off-ride footage I'm going to be, well and truly, drenched. And there he is, climbing up the lift hill on drenched. There he is. I'm not giving this one a go because I do not want to get absolutely drenched. Let's see him come down. He's on the front row as well, which means he's gonna get even more soaked. There we go, they're just going around the bit at the top and they're gonna come all the way down here. Such a steep drop on this one. Absolute soaker, and on the front row as well. I tell you what, you got the lift hill on that, and then you're just looking across at the drop. It's so intimidating because you look at it and it's ridiculously ah. steep as well. And you saw from that sideways footage, and then yeah, with the over the shoulder restraints, you've got nowhere to kind of move. Yeah, you just get, get up to the top of the drop there, and you just look out at the amazing view. And normally on a water ride like Tidal Wave or something, like at Thorpe Park naturally you just kind of go forward a little bit on that because of the over the shoulder restraint you can't, you can't. So you just have to sit there and embrace it and you would hate it. that charlotte no I i'll let you off for not going on that thank one, you absolute soaker i am literally drenched at oakwood Well, I've only been off the ride 10 minutes and drying off already. Honestly, one of the best water rides in the country and definitely the scariest as well with that ridiculously steep drop. Anyway, over here now at Dizzy Disc. Gonna have a little ride on here and yeah, here's some off-ride footage of it in action. Doesn't look like it's spinning that fast, this one though, does it? It's not going very far up. There we go, it's got a nice lighting package on the bottom. It's Dizzy Disc here at Oakwood this afternoon. Oh, 
Had a nice ride there over on Dizzy Disc, and I tell you what, that was a spin dry. Because yeah, I'm practically dry now. Oh, and I was drenched before. I need to go on another war ride, I think, at some oh. point. <laughs> but yeah, I just thought I was uh, pointing this out because I came off there just and thought, something's missing in this area of Oakwood. Then looked over here at the grass, and yeah, what they've actually done, they've taken out a building here, and there used to be an attraction called Moon Landing, which is one of those like vertical slides, which are absolutely horrible, I hated it. Um, so yeah, they've actually took that out. But yeah, I just came off there and I thought, hang on a minute, like I, there's missing something in this part of the park, but yeah, it used to sit right here, that building. It's been replaced with some grass just there. Yeah, I do love this view and cannot wait for tonight's spectacular. But up next, we're going on bounce. Seems weird saying that, it's been shut for many years. We thought it was gonna leave the park, but no, they've done a major overhaul of it and spent a lot of money on bounce. Yeah, we'll head over there, talk more about it, and of course, experience it and share our thoughts. Here we go then, well, this feels really weird actually seeing this gate open and bounce being open because yeah, this has been closed for many years. In fact, it was nearly at the point where this was gonna get removed from the park, but they decided to spend the money on it and completely refurbish the ride. Uh, actually built by Huss, and then yeah, lots of work has been done on this. So I'm excited to see exactly how this is going to ride. But yeah, it's back, Charlotte. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, we'll give it a go, hang on. You said you're looking forward to a drop tower. I don't mind this one. To be honest, you've been getting better with the drop towers. I have which is good but yeah we'll give this a go so it's not just a drop it's also a shot as well and uh, so yeah we'll put in a bit of off-ride footage and we'll let you know afterwards what we think to bounce after it's refurb here at oakwood quite interesting with bounce now is how they've got shot or drop you decide squeeze left for a shot first and squeeze right for the drop first that's a good little fun thing obviously they've not added anything to the restraints or anything from what i can see just a fun little thing and then obviously the operator must just decide but yeah it's quite a fun little sign what they've put up just there I don't think we're ever going to get a ride on bounce again. I think we're cursed, Charlotte. Oh, no. We've been evac from the queue we have. because it's too hot to run the ride, unfortunately. It is. I mean, safety is always paramount, no, but uh, yeah. On there. It, it was slow. We waited about 20 minutes. It got sent once during that period of time. So and uh, yeah, very slow with the loading. However, it's good to see it back open. And obviously, yeah, it is extreme temperature. So you've got to think safety is always paramount. Good thing is the park's open until 10 o'clock. It will be cooler later on when the sun goes down. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to come back later on for our ride on bounce. But you've just seen some nice off-ride shots. And it's quite interesting with the cycle on there. Yeah, yeah saying that they've got heat uh, sensors. Hey, theme park worldwide on YouTube. They've got heat sensors built into the side. Like, it's a little rubbish. Yeah, it's just to make it, you know, so. nah, nah, it's just to add to it, you know, which is good. I like the idea of that. But yeah, it looks like it's pretty forceful to be honest especially on the shot downwards so i'm really looking forward to giving it a go we're just going to wait a little bit longer till we get on bounce we are cursed with that ride we've not been on it for what five plus years maybe longer than that uh, anyway just over here to the left you got the dinghy slides just here as well big cue for those but of course it is a hot day today yeah they've got plenty of dinghies on which is good and there's a pirate ship just down there as well so we're going to give that a go obviously we've got pedlos have to give them a ride later on as well love the pedlos charlotte yeah, good fun ride. And obviously, yeah, wait around for this evening's uh, fireworks spectacular that we're really looking forward to. Yeah, it's always a nice show here at Oakwood Theme Park.
Here we go then. So we just spent about an hour out of the park. We went to Narbeth, had nice fish and chips, which is just a few miles, about a 10 minute drive from Oakwood. And then yeah, also checked into our Airbnb where we're staying tonight. And I'll tell you what, it's a gorgeous evening to be here on the lake, on the Pedlows, and get a view of Megaphobia just over there as well. Unfortunately, Bounce is still closed. We really hope we get it tonight. We are cursed with that ride, honestly. Yeah, I do love the Pedlows. It's an Oakwood classic. Yeah, you really get to appreciate the gorgeous location that wooden coaster. I really hope that we can get it sorted out. We know we're not the only ones feeling it though, because we've chatted with a lot of enthusiasts today. Yeah, the Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain are here today for their annual event and uh, I spoke with a lot of friends and uh, you know, yeah, everybody's just kind of said the same, which is really sad, isn't it? Yeah, it really needs some major work, more than just a little bit of retrack. Still, it's a lovely summer atmosphere tonight and that's why we come for After Dark and a big reason we didn't come last year was because this event wasn't running, so it's nice how it is this year. You can hear the music over there in the background. There's a DJ on at the moment. They normally have some live acts later. Then, of course, the Colorfest UV paint party. And then the fireworks at the end of the night. Here we go then. So we've lined up the boat. Lovely position here. Looking over at Megaphobia. We're going to give it another ride after this, viewers. We're going to see if it's any better now the sun's going down. Not really expecting it to be, unfortunately. It needs major work and you can tell. Makes me sad. Yeah, it's great looking over at it from here. That epic first drop that's pretty awesome on the back row. You get some great air time. And here she comes, Megaphobia. Enjoying your ride around on the pedlos. Lovely, relaxed. Sun's going down here at Oakwood in Wales. And of course, we're visiting quite a few places on this trip. Tomorrow, we're making our way to... Barley Farm! Barley Farm, we've got the goats, and of course, the Heritage Funfair rides there as well. I'm so excited for the goats! We're looking forward to that. We're then gonna be making our way to Coney Beach in Port Corn, checking that yeah. out. And then along with that as well, to Barry Island, where we're looking forward to riding the UK's newest big thrill ride, which is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I cannot wait for that. Uh, so that's gonna be coming up over the next few days here on Theme Park Worldwide, as our summer 2022 vlogs continue. I just said to Charlotte, actually, off camera, I'd love a Pedlows on the lake at Alton Towers. It'd yeah, be lovely. It'd be really nice. Yeah, I think it'd be great. I love a good Pedlows. I just can't see Alton Towers putting one in, though, to be honest, Towers, with their health and safety and trusting people um, out on the water. But yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah, atmosphere's pumping now, DJ's on. We're gonna have a ride on Megaphobia. Of course, do a few more re-rides now. We've shown you pretty much everything there is here. Uh, do a few more re-rides. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll get on Bounce and share our review. And then, of course, we'll capture the entertainment from Colorfest and also the uh, fireworks show. on Megaphobia and this time we were three rows from the front and I thought it was better than earlier on in my I opinion. Uh, but don't get me wrong, it's still not quite what it was before. However, it was better near the front for me. I disagree. Shake, rattle and roll on there. Yeah, it is a bit of a headbanger now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I would like to see him do the work to it. But no, it was much better than near the back. I'd say if you want a little bit of a smoother ride, definitely head more down towards the front. I think so too. Uh, the good news is we've just had a ride on Bounce and I've got to say, that was pretty awesome. I really enjoyed that to be honest. I'd say it's now one of my favourite rides rides at the park. Um, it's been closed for over five years I think it's been now. They spent a lot of money on it and to be fair you get a great cycle because yeah you either get the shot or drop first. Um, they say that obviously you've got the little handlebars I and you're voted. Yeah no, that's all just to add to the fun, add to the suspense. But no it was really good. Yeah, like Very it. forceful now and the view's great. Really good view. Yeah it literally is a bounce as well you know you're kind of like oh really? yeah it's really good I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm glad they fixed it up. Uh, I did think it's days were probably over so it's nice to see it back at the park. It's a big ride, it's a staple of 
attraction for them. And uh, yeah, I thought the views from the top, I'd forgotten how beautiful really that view good. was. Looking at Megaphobia on that Lovely side, view. obviously speed if you're on this side. It was absolutely awesome. But uh, anyway, we're going to get a few more rides in now, put a bit more footage, and shortly we'll head over onto the grass, uh, get some shots of the paint party, and just capture the overall atmosphere of Oakwood after dark. Look at this, brilliant. He's a big fan of the ball worldwide. Here he is. <laughs> Woo! Right, ladies and gents, you're going to be live with these guys, Sean and Charlotte, Theme Park Worldwide. Let's get our hands together. <laughs> Here we go then, so Colour Fest is just starting now. This is the UV paint party, fifth anniversary of it. There's Megaphobia in the background with the sun going down. Wow, what an atmosphere. One. An awesome atmosphere there for Colour Fest. And yeah, if you're down there at the front by the stage, you will get covered in UV paint. And yeah, in terms of buying that, you can get a bag's worth of UV paint for five pounds. However, so many people get it and get involved and have a good time. We have before in the past, and it's really good fun. But yeah, coming up shortly, it's the After Dark Firework Display. And yeah, this is so much more than just fireworks. It's a full nighttime spectacular. There's fireworks, there's lighting, fire effects, and so much more. And we got highlights coming up over the next few minutes here on Theme Park Worldwide. Enjoy the show.
Well, the atmosphere there was absolutely amazing. What a show by Oakwood. I've got to say, the After Dark Nighttime Spectacular was absolutely epic. That I was loved fantastic. it. fantastic. I really enjoyed that. The quality of the fireworks and the location is what really makes it, with Megaphobia just behind the lake. And then, yeah, the huge Oakwood sign all the way across. And then all the lighting, the moving hairs, the park hands, the, uh, the fire effects. Like, the fire's really been up the this fire time. The fire's brilliant. What we really noticed was the fact they've made the Oakwood bigger now and spread it across either side of the stage really the whole show just felt so much bigger and even more spectacular on a huge scale. yeah it was amazing i absolutely loved that genuinely there's no other place in the uk what offers something like that over Park summer should be proud of that yeah they really should because like you just wouldn't expect it you come to oakwood you walk around and it's a nice part but you wouldn't think they could put on a what is like effectively that. a world-class nighttime show like that was brilliant definitely my highlight of the day that was 100%. today uh, well done to the park it's a great show and i recommend the after dark events if you don't mind getting covered in uv paint <laughs> that's great to normally we'd be well up for we it would, yeah and we have done it in the past but the reason is we're staying in an airbnb that someone's house actually tonight so, so we didn't want to go back no, in face no. uh, but uh, it's been a really nice day this evening especially has been fantastic i also really enjoyed bounce that's my other yeah, highlight I, really liked that. I thought bounce was absolutely brilliant today and it's nice to see that back open uh, a little bit disappointed with how megaphobia is riding at the moment um it's a brilliant wooden roller coaster normally so um and we've just this is the least amount of rides i think i've ever had Literally. on it at Oak would we're normally leaving with 10 20 plus rides um but no it really isn't riding the best at the moment so i hope that ride can have the tlc and the work it needs fingers crossed it's an older ride it opened in 1996 it needs some major tlc in my opinion not just retracking a few sections um it really needs the work so hopefully uh, it will get that at some point in the future uh, but i also really enjoyed the heat and getting on the water rides today oh. waterfall was good getting on drenched because we wasn't expecting that you know so it's good to get on there wasn't it i would not uh, have I, gone on there yeah, i really enjoyed <laughs> getting on there today uh, Charlotte wouldn't have liked oh, it no. but it was really good getting on there I enjoyed that today and uh, just soaking up the uh, awesome atmosphere of the park tonight I think there's parts of Oakwood what still need some major TLC I think so um, I really do especially this time we've noticed a few areas that really need some more love uh, it's been a shame to see like the indoor parts of Neverland closed yeah, I, know. I don't know if that was maybe because of the heat but then I think it's indoors so I, I don't it know really I'm not too sure um, but yeah there's been a few parts that need some TLC and some work and hopefully it can get that in the future However, the nighttime shows what carries it. Hopefully, megaphobia um, can be sorted out in the future. And it's nice that there's not a big SBNO drop tower in the middle of the park yeah, now. Because right yeah, like we, we, you know, we're chatting with one of the managers. It was 2016, 2017, yeah, like a, long a long time, time ago. Time. So it's like it's been SBNO for that amount of time. It's back open. Get your house down here. It's still a really good park. And hopefully, megaphobia will be back on form again soon. But uh, there we go. We're off to the goats tomorrow. Yay! Yeah, Folly Farm, that's coming up next vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide as our trip here to Wales continues. And like I say, if you want to see on-ride footage, check out the previous Oakwood vlogs and also the playlist here on the channel. That leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you tomorrow.